Looking at Activity 7, the PPLP walkthrough, um, here's what it says. So in order to get started in your co-op course, you must first create your personalized placement plan, which is referred to as the PPLP. So in order to get started, you're going to have to go into the content page, which you are here, and open up the PPLP template. So if you look over to the side here, just below A7, PPLP, you'll notice the PPLP template. If you click on that, you'll notice the file downloads. You open it up. And now you can work on it. So this first page here is your personal info and the employer info. So it should be fairly self-explanatory. Uh, fill it out and then scroll down to the second page. This is where you tie in the curriculum expectations. So for your Thai courses, you need to go to the Ontario Government Education website and download the expectations into your PPLP. So you're just going to copy and paste. These are going to go into the left side of the box. And for every credit that you're taking, you need five points added to the right side. So for example, if you have a two credit co-op, you need 10 points added to the right side. So if you want to get to the curriculum document, we're going to go back to our window here, scroll down, and this link, yeah, this one, will open up the curriculum document. So now it depends on what course you're tying your co-op credit back to. So you'll notice here it's divided by department. So you have the arts, business, Canadian world studies, English, computers, and so on. So for example, if you had a course code from ADA, then you would choose the arts. Uh, so we'll go with this as our example. So again, whatever course you chose, with Mr. Martell to tie it into, that's where you're going to go into. So let's say the arts. Now if you're in grade 11 and you're deciding to tie this back to a grade 10 course, then you're going to choose, you'll notice here, curriculum document grades 9 and 10, the arts. If you were tying this to a grade 11 or 12 course, then you would go to the grade 11 or 12 curriculum document. So again, we'll continue with our example, grade 10, let's say, drama. So we'll open up the PDF, and then we're going to scroll through until we get to the table of contents, find the course we're looking to tie into. So here, courses, drama, grade 10, it says page 74. So now we're going to scroll all the way down to page 74. So now that you've found your course, you need to scroll down until you get to these overall expectations. So you're going to need to copy and paste these overall expectations and put them into the overall expectations box in your PPLP. Your PPLP should now have three overall expectations like this. So here, we will take the first one, select it. Now control C is copy or you can right click and choose to copy. We're going to go back to our document, find here our overall expectation, and paste. Back here, get our second, and control C will copy, and control V will paste. Copy our third expectations, and again, control V. So now you have your three expectations. So now you need to scroll down and get the rest of the overall expectations. So again, here are some more, and again, a third group. 
there. Now that's it. So there were three groups of three in this case. So now even though you've fully completed this, you're not really done. This is an ongoing work plan that you're going to have to work on um, and submit to Mr. Martel every second week the way you would work on it as you would use the Edu Bible from the curriculum expectations. Uh, so basically you're listing what you did in the workplace that relates back to this expectation. So again, looking at our example, uh, uses the creative process and a variety of sources and forms to design and develop drama work. So again, if your um, co-op was related to drama, maybe you're working with Mrs. Green and you had a part in uh, writing some dialogue for a play, then you could list, explain here that you wrote some for a play. with Mrs. Green. There, so that relates to that curriculum expectation. So it's taking what you've done in real life and relating it back to what the um, curriculum expectation says. For every credit in co-op you're taking, you need five short stories or anything you did in the workplace that relates to the expectation. So again, if you have one credit, five stories. Two credit, co-op course, you're going to give me 10, you're going to give 10 stories. If you have any questions, go see Mr. Martel. He'll gladly answer them.